Beer tubers, welcome back to another edition of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today we are looking at Carl Strauss Brewing Company's fall release. This is their Oktoberfest beer. I'm finally doing a Carl Strauss beer. They're actually the oldest brewery in San Diego. So it's about time I did one of their beers. Most of Carl Strauss's beers tend to be German. Uh, I believe Carl himself was German or maybe Austrian, but he was definitely from that region. I used to hear his commercials all the time. He had a very thick accent. Fortunately, he's no longer with us, but a lot of his recipes remain. And I'm glad that recently that Carl Strauss has stepped up their game. I used to, I thought they just did okay beers, but recently they've really stepped it up with their their double barrel, double IPA, and um, they have cast night every Thursdays at the brewery. And just, uh, they're, they're brewing better beers these days. So this is probably gonna be my one and only Oktoberfest beer because I believe this might be the only Oktoberfest beer made by any of these San Diego breweries. So uh, let's get a pour on this one. I believe, yeah, this is 5% ABV by volume. So it's maybe a little lower than some of the other Oktoberfest slash Marzen beers out there. All right, I want a real aggressive pour on that one so you can see the nice head it leaves on this one. Um, ton of small bubbles on this head. Uh, it's an off-white color. Real clear beer. Um, moderate carbonation on it. This one's kind of a little bit lighter than some of the other Oktoberfest I've seen. This one kind of is very amber-like. Uh, there's definitely a lot of gold tints around the sides of it. So let's get the nose on it. Yeah, I get, it, it says that this is an Oktoberfest with a lot of toast and maltiness, and that's immediately what you get on this beer. I mean, there's a ton of just toasted malt, sweet malts on it. I mean, there's almost like, like they're probably using a honey malt or something, because they get a little bit of a honey aroma coming off it. So this one's definitely on the sweet side for the aroma. According to the packaging, they uh, used Vienna and Munich malts for it, and then imported in the Pearl Hops from the uh, Hallertau region. So, uh, let's dig into Oktoberfest, Prost. The flavor is very similar to the nose, but not as sweet, which is nice. I, I don't like when some of these Marzins go overly sweet. Um, this type of style I'm not a huge fan of, but I do like drinking it when it's paired up nicely with some good food, uh, especially the sweeter ones. Thankfully this one has a very nice dry finish on it. It's a lot of Oktoberfest Mars and beers I've had, they, they do leave a little sweetness in your, in your mouth. This one's just completely dry on the, in the back. You immediately get some of that really, yeah, just a ton of toastiness coming off this beer. A lot of toastiness. And then you get a little bit of sweetness midway through the tongue. And then it just finishes real smooth, very dry. So the body on this one falls between a medium, medium light. There is a good amount of flavor in it. Not too much sweetness, which I do like, but I have had some more bolder, better, and darker Mars and beers. And this one drinks definitely on the lighter side of things. Very sessionable though. So I do give it points for that. But I would like just a little more out of it. You could have no problem drinking a six pack of this. Very drinkable. There is enough flavor in there. There's a little bit of sweetness. Ton of, ton of toastiness. Not getting really any hops on it. Except other than the, the dry finish this one leaves. And it is leaving some very nice lacing on the glass. So as I mentioned, not my favorite style of beer, but this seems to be a fairly decent example. I'm going to give it a C plus. I think this is, uh, it's probably an average style of beer, but 
it's almost above average. It's right, right in that ballpark. Um, I was either going to go B minus or C plus. I think I'm going to go C plus. It's not their best beer. If you can ever try their Hefeweizen, one of the better American Hefeweizens you can find. And although they're not one of the better well-known breweries in San Diego, they are putting out some great stuff these days. Stop by the restaurants, especially Thursday night, cast night. A good deal on cask beer. So I might be reviewing more Carl Strauss beers in the future. Their Red Trolley Red Ale won a, another gold medal, I believe, at the Great American Brew Fest this year. Um, that's, that's a really good uh, Red Ale. I'm not a huge fan of Reds, but that's pretty decent, so I might check that one out, do a review of that. I don't know if their Double Barrel Ale is done for the year, but if I get a fresh batch of that, I'll definitely do a review on that. So please comment and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, prost.